Yo, what's up guys, it's Zelix, and I've been playing a lot of Absolver, and every time I search on YouTube, I don't see anything about a Windfall style guide, or anything of the sort, so I figured I'd bring you guys that, because um, I'll admit, when I first started this character, I was kind of just going in the wrong direction, and for some of you guys who are just getting the game, just starting out, and you're picking Windfall, I want you guys to know what to do, what attributes to get, how to set up your deck. Um, what equipment you should be using, how much equipment you should be using. So I'm going to be telling you those three things mainly. So in terms of your attributes, if you're windfall style, you really want to increase your dexterity and your endurance. You see I have endurance at 21 and dexterity at 22. This is because windfall style really primarily focuses on dexterity and endurance. Now your dexterity, um, you have certain damage, you have certain attacks that are based on dexterity and according to how much dexterity you have can increase the damage of those attacks so if you have a a dexterity based attack that does 50 damage but you have a lot of dexterity if you, if you put a lot of attribute points into your dexterity it can bump that attack up it can bump the um the damage of that attack up like a lot so you really want to focus on um increasing your dexterity and your endurance and endurance obviously it allows you to regenerate your stamina faster but not only that it also allows you to string attacks together longer so you can just keep doing these combos these never-ending combos without getting tired too fast so you can put a lot of damage into your opponent and also another thing guys is you don't have to necessarily have a dex based um, deck you see if you look to the bottom left right there my primary um, deck has C in strength C in dexterity and B in mobility so you don't have to have a you know a, a or a S and S is the highest rating you can have in one of those categories you don't have to have it that high you can have it be just like this like average CCB and I'm doing 106.8 damage and I you know it does the job it gets the job done so you don't have to have everything be you know SSS so don't think like that guys don't when you're making your deck don't get upset if you don't have you know a lot of dex based attacks so you can make your your deck just you know just a, a s in um in dexterity because it's not really about that it's about making sure that your deck is mixed up it's elusive and if you have those two things in your deck then you'll be fine you don't have to have a dex deck <laughs> a dex deck you don't have to have a dex build deck whatever the fuck you know what i'm talking about so those are the attributes guys um but once you've gotten your dexterity and your endurance to, you know, a decent, um, a decent level, you can start focusing on, you know, you can, you can put a few points into strength because it'll increase your damage and strength also increases strength based attacks, which you might want to incorporate a couple of those into your combos. Usually at the end of your combos, you know, you'll want to do, you'll want to use, uh, two quick attacks and you'll want to use a slower, more damaging, um, strength based attack to throw your opponent off. But yeah guys other than that other than endurance and dexterity you really want to just focus on vitality and strength i got both of those at 13 i think i might keep them there i'm not sure yet but yeah guys so next i'll talk about equipment if you're using windfall if you're using windfall the less gear that you that your character is wearing the more damage he'll do so if i were to you know unequip all of this it just up my damage but it would decrease my protection a lot so I usually I like to wear a decent amount of armor just so my character can you know have some life to him I don't want to run around buck naked and shit you know what I'm talking about so I usually have a little bit of gear and this is how much damage I could be doing if I wear less gear it'll bump me up to 107.2 106.9 107.2 107.2 so the less gear you're wearing or the the lighter the gear you know the more damage you'll be doing you don't necessarily have to um unequip everything that you're wearing but maybe some lighter gear you know All right, so you can see here if i'm wearing these pants i'm at 106.8 and if i were to equip these it drop it bring me up to 107 and it also make my mobility fast but honestly i haven't even seen like a major difference in the mobility stats whether you're fast or you're at normal speed i haven't seen much of a difference so yeah guys if you're windfall you wanna I would recommend wearing 
a decent amount of gear to just keep you protected. I like to wear some to where I'm usually staying at around 37 blunt protection and 10 cut protection. You know, 35 to 40, I'd say, for blunt, 10 to 15 for cut because not a lot of people really use um, their swords in PvP. So, yeah, guys, just wear a decent amount of armor. But if you can, if you want to go with the, the buck naked strategy and just disequip everything you have and just be doing a ton of damage. You can do that, but you're going to die a lot quicker if you get touched. So honestly, it is up to you how much gear or how little gear you wear. I like to be kind of fashionable, so I have to have something equipped. Um, but yeah, that's the it's gear, guys. Gonna get you to level 60, man. If you have a shit deck, you're not going to go anywhere. So this is my primary deck. You know, you can actually unlock up to three decks for your your bare hands, your war gloves, your sword. You can unlock up to three decks. So, my second deck, I'd say, is my best. Yeah, I think it's my better one. So, if I show you guys this deck, I'm showing you guys my secrets, man. I'm showing you guys my secrets. I'm going to have to mix it up. Somebody's going to challenge me. So, basically, when you create a deck as one fall, or really for any um, style, you want to incorporate a lot of avoidance attacks. You see, the, the attacks are the ones with the, um, the arrow in the bottom right you see it can it can be pointing to the left to it can be pointing downward upward to the right and basically whichever direction is pointing is the direction that the attack will be dodging it'll be like dodging to the left it'll be dodging upwards it'll be dodging to the right so if someone attacks you from one of those directions they'll completely miss this right here this attack the um the jump the jumped light kick it avoids low attacks. You see how he's jumping up? So if someone were to hit me with a leg sweep and I hit him with that, I completely avoid their attack, but I'll still connect with mine. So yeah, guys, um, avoidance attacks are very important. They help you dodge while also attacking, and you're already windfall, so you already have the ability to dodge, which can be a really big hassle and annoyance for your opponent. So if you throw in these attacks, that you know act, can actually deal some damage while also avoiding damage it can just it can be deadly man it can be deadly i swear to god it can be deadly and a lot of the times i prefer to start my combos each one of these columns is a combo i prefer to start them with an avoidance attack but this one i didn't because the surging palm i would use the surging palm and then my leg sweep right there but the surging palm will push my opponents too far away from me for my leg sweep to connect. So you really have to pay attention to your, you know, your deck, and you actually want to practice it before you jump into, you know, PvP. So I noticed that the surging palm was pushing my opponents out of range of my leg, out of out of range of my leg sweep. So I had to go ahead and use the pushed elbow. Um, also, guys, I do like ending my combos with heavy hitting attacks. Um, but a lot of my heavy hitting attacks, for one, I don't have many of them, you know, and also for this particular deck, I just didn't have anything um, that was super heavy hitting that could string into the other combos like I wanted it to. So I had to settle for these. But this right here, this is vicious, man. That high leg kick. Oh, my God, that is vicious. And the slow down speed of it really throws my opponents off. They see me do those two things right there and they're expecting, you know, the next um um, they're expecting the next uh, part of my combo to be quick, but I slow it down. And once it slows down, they're expecting me to just stop completely. So they, they drop their guard in preparation to attack me. But then they get hit with that high kick, and it's just it's vicious. So, you guys, that brings me to my next point. You really want to try to mediate within the speed of your attacks. Um, speed and the height of your attacks. So if you're hitting them with, if you hit them with a quick low attack, and then a slow down high attack, man, it can be deadly. Cause like I said, they're gonna drop their guard, assuming that you know, since you slowed down, they're gonna assume that they have enough time to counterattack you, maybe to jab you out of your combo. And sometimes you know they may, but sometimes they may not. It all depends. That's why you have to really mess around with your deck. You have to really play around with your deck and see what works for you and what works against higher level opponents. Because as you level up different level opponents you know if you're going up against level 60s you're going to see how their decks differ from you know a level 20. when i was uh fighting in pvp and i was like level 20 man i 
most people they just use like the basic um combos the basic attacks and most of us hadn't even learned the attacks yet and now that i'm level 55 and i'm going up against level 60s like every time i drop into a pvp i'm going up against level 60. well for one it's not hard to level up in this game but they're using high level decks they're using high level decks man they're differing the um the height in their attacks they're hitting me low they're hitting me high hitting me low again or they're hitting me high high low and they're differing they're mediating the speed so they'll hit me with two really fast high attacks and they'll drop down with a slower low attack or vice versa so you really want to change the speed and the height of your attacks that's like right now that's the that's the ideal strategy for a deck and you see i do have like right here i hit him with the uh what's the name of this the tetsu zank whatever i hit him with that then i go high on him and then i hit him with the uh the liver knee i think that's oh that's that's the bounce knee um so yeah guys you really want to focus on hitting them high bow low so that's what i really like to do that's what's been working for me or as opposed to my other decks, I really just focused on strength. Um, I don't know. My other decks were just trash. They had a lot of damage because I focused so much on the strength of my attacks. But since I've been watching other YouTubers and I've been seeing how they form their decks, I formed kind of my own little deck with the same guidelines as theirs. You know, using avoidance attacks, um, using high-low attacks, um, changing up the speed of the attacks to throw your opponents off. So you guys, that's the main thing with that. You really want to change up the speed and the um the height. Hit them high, hit them low, all that. Hmm. But yeah, guys, in terms of decks, that's really all I have to show you. I've shown you pretty much everything that I know so far. I don't have the best deck, I know. You don't have to go judging me, all right? I know I'm not the best. I'm not the best at any game, but I think that I have a pretty good grasp on this game so far. Like, just look at this, man. Look how vicious this can be. So, you guys, I'm going to leave you with that in terms of the tips. All right, guys, that was pretty much all I had to talk about. Um, Like I said, I'm still learning at this game also. So, if there's anything that I talked about that didn't seem very effective to you or you could do better, you could think of better, let people know in the comment section. So, yeah, guys, I'll just leave you with this um, clip of me just fucking up Jen Mesca. Just look at this. Oh, man. But, yeah, guys, let me know what you thought of the tips. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any tips for me, let me know because I really do love this game. And I'm trying to get better. So, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.